So I made someone cry in a comment section uh, yesterday for a good reason. And I want to share what happened because it, it's something that we all need to work on. And I'm including myself because I very easily could have gone an entirely different direction with, with this situation. I shared a story about how my toddler was going through a sleep regression and how she's been, you know, every once in a while crawls in the bed uh, at night with us and takes over the entire bed. And someone responded, look, I don't have kids, but and give advice on the situation. And I didn't see it at first, but when I did see it, it was because there were dozens of other commenters just tearing this person apart, just ripping into her and going off on her for having the audacity to give me advice. And so I responded to her and told her, you know, I don't think you were attempting to be mean or judgmental with this. My, my, my own personal philosophy on giving advice is, did they ask for it? And if someone is just sharing a story, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. We don't know about uh, different disabilities or, or illnesses or trauma or just any other number of things that might be unspoken in a story. And so if they don't ask for the advice, when you give advice, sometimes people can take it as judgmental or condescending. And she responded back saying that she has autism and that she was crying at her computer right now because nobody usually takes the time to actually help with that situation, they just assume the worst and she gets in trouble for it a lot. And look, there are plenty of people that I respond to on this app all the time that are deservingly worthy of, of being dunked on. But in a comment section specifically, I think it's important that we, and I'm including myself when I say we, need to keep in mind that, that there's a lot of context missing and before we tear someone apart, we should consider that there might be other circumstances involved.